Simpson's black hole, where Mark trains come in, but they don't come out. You know what that is? That's a 999 windup. Yep. And I put the nickel plate road tender behind it because I thought that was kind of a kind of an unusual tender to begin with. That tender actually came behind behind a 994. It was late 50s production. Mark's logo right here. Yep. Look at the cab. Oh, yeah, Todd was telling me about these. Yeah, they're on the cab. And so these are late production. Yep. Because the. Probably from the 70s. They're there and they're double reduction. Yep. Yeah. Two variations. Oops. Tell me what they are. Oh, my. Well, we have silver and black, obvious, but that's not it. Look at the wheels, pilot wheels. Oh. One's cast and one's tin. Huh. It's the only difference. Other than, you know, like the color here. Yep. This, uh, these things came pulling four-wheel plastic cars. Weird for $9.99. Yeah. This is my homemade version of a 666. <laughs> Made a lever inside. Mm -hmm. That's the way the originals were. The on-off switch was inside, and you pull it. To, to release it for yep. the wind-up. Well, I never thought I'd ever find one. So I was out in New York, and I'm dealing on an H.O. boxed military set that I don't think I'd ever been around. It was like brand new. So, you know, great big box with all the military pieces in it, and I'm dealing on the guy, and I look over my shoulder, and here's Steve Eckel. He's got this in his hand, and I went, oh, shit. Why didn't I go right instead of left? Well... Okay, I got done dealing on this, and St Steve is still standing there with this in his hand. And he's hemming and hawing and hemming and hawing. And finally, put it back in the box, and I said, you done? He said, yeah. Well, we were both bent down. Here comes this big hand over the top of our shoulders, and it was brush. And I looked up, and he said, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a partial set. I don't even remember what was in there, now. And then there was a partial Canadian Pacific set. Both had, you know, some cars. 45 bucks for the whole package. Well, I picked up this and I kept it cradled like a baby and I had the other box stuff down here. And Steve was going, what's going on? How come that thing is so special? And I told him, this was number 13 at the time I bought it. I think there's like 24 or 5 now. But, I mean, it's terrible shape. Yeah. Just awful. Pilot's gone. You know, got the on-off switch in here. But it's got the rubber headlight. 